Hey guys, this is Sim Spencer. Um, oh, you can see my light in the tank. I just want to show you guys my fish that I got the other day. Um, I have always had fish throughout my life, and I really like them. And I finally have one on a tank of my own. So this is the, uh, I think, hold on. This is the Marine Land Eclipse. Um, we've had this tank for a while. But only recently have I set it up and put it in my room. So I have, I think, uh, five fish. I have five fish and then I have two ghost shrimp. So the ghost shrimp, they hide in the back. I don't know if you can see them. I'll see if he is over here. Where are you? I don't know. Um, but I have in here, I have... Two mollies. This is Aurora, which is the white molly, the silver molly. And then I have Dart, which is over here, and she is the black molly. And then I have a Marimo ball right here. It's actually not up against the glass, it's kind of further back. And then I have a set of three Danios. I have an orange one, blue one, and a little pink one at the top. He's my favorite because he's really small. But, um,. The tank is, I think, six gallons, give or tank, give or tank, huh? Um, I have white and black gravel in the bottom, and I want to see if I can find my shrimp. You can kind of see him in the back, yeah. He's he's translucent, so it's hard to see. That's him right there. Oh, there's my finger. So, um, basically, I have two. I have a bigger shrimp, and I have a smaller shrimp. I actually named them after characters on The Walking Dead. So the bigger one is Lizzie, and the smaller one is Mika. And Mika hides very, very well. Um, I actually thought she got eaten. Actually, they're both boys, but I thought they were girls at first, so they have girls' names. But um, I actually thought Mika got eaten by Dart or Aurora. I'm not positive who I thought, but... um. I just fed them so you can see it all on the floor. Um, but I thought she got eaten, so I was kind of panicking. And then she, like, strolls across the front, and I was like, there you are. So, so far, the ghost shrimp are doing really well. Um, they pick up all the scraps that the fish haven't eaten yet, and they're very helpful. I'll show you what it looks like inside. From the top, there's my marimo right there. And I have just, like... A plastic plant right here, and then a, it's ceramic, it looks like wood, but it's actually ceramic because, um, it's just a little easier to clean. And I haven't had shrimp before, but I really like them because, like I said, they're translucent, so you can see through them. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. There's Lizzie. Oh, it's very fuzzy. Hold on. So, um, you could probably see her from out here. I, I always refer to them as her, just because the name is Lizzie, but, um, so, you could see kind of right there, that little dark spot, that's actually her organs. I keep calling it a her, anyway, um, but when he eats, you can actually see the food going through his mouth and in his stomach, and it's pretty cool. Um, I really enjoy watching them eat. And then the mollies, which are really cool. Um, I originally had two other danios, but they were really aggressive, so I had to take them back, which made me sad. But um, the mollies actually kind of keep order. It's weird because you'd expect... They're not that different in size. You can see I have um, the molly right here and then the danios right here. Uh, and then those two are up there. Um, but... They actually keep peace, believe it or not. Um, that one up top, the orange one, her name is Martha. And I can't tell if the Danios are boys or girls. So um, I actually named them after a Doctor Who character. So the blue one is Rory. And um, unfortunately, Amy passed away because she was sick when we got her. So, yeah. But um, And then up there, the orange one is Martha. And then the little pink one is Jack, in like Jack Harkness. So, 
because I do like Torchwood. So, yeah. And, um, it's really cool to see them interact with each other, especially the shrimp and the mollies, because the shrimp, what are you doing? <laughs> the shrimp will actually come over out front, and the mollies will swim along the sides. And the shrimp will feel the mollies with his antenna, and will kind of go over to it. And the molly will swim away, but he kind of looks up, and he's like, why did you leave? What What's wrong with me? Um... So, I'll show you the tank from a wider view. And it actually has, on the back, it has a built-in filter. And it's a cartridge filter. So, the water runs through there and out through the back. The reason why I'm not showing my face is mostly because um, I am not in my best attire, so to say. So, I'm not going to be showing my face. But, anyway, involving the Marimo... I think that the Marimo, I haven't really seen any interaction with the fish and the Marimo, um, but supposedly it keeps your tank really clean and free, oh, excuse me, uh, free of, you know, like, cloudy water, I guess, um, but it's actually a ball of algae, and it supposedly feeds the shrimp as well, because the shrimp will eat algae, they'll also eat those little scraps on the floor. Um, but, so far I haven't really seen any interaction besides Mika will go under, right under there, and she'll hide under there, or he, I don't know. <laughs> and actually, you know what, I do know, because the shrimp, I think you can see Mika, yeah, you can see her, she's right there, um, the shrimp, the ghost shrimp, and this is a tip for all my fellow aquarium keepers, for a ghost shrimp, you can actually tell whether or not they are a boy or a girl. Because at the end of their antenna, and you can't really see it on Lizzie or Mika, but when Lizzie comes up front, there will actually be a little red area on their antennas, more close to their head, and that's how you know if it's a male. Also, females will have kind of like eggs in their stomach whereas the males don't so hopefully that helps um but I really really like my tank setup I didn't add a lot of stuff because I didn't feel like I needed to it's kind of a small tank so I didn't want to overcrowd anything but um yeah so I would definitely recommend Danios and Molly's I wouldn't recommend getting too many Danios in a small tank because they can become aggressive um Especially if, you know, there's too many. I definitely recommend having an isolation tank uh, to kind of put them in timeout. Or if they get really bad, to keep them there until you can, unfortunately, return them. Um, but what I feed them is Tetra Tetra Color. That's Tropical Flakes. And it helps enhance their color. And the Danios are actually glowfish, but I don't have a... Uh, Luminescent, or not luminescent, you know what I mean. A light that can bring out those colors. I have a standard incandescent light bulb. Um, I believe they do make light bulbs in that shape for glowfish, but they're pretty expensive, so. Plus, I like how they look without it as well. It doesn't really make much of a difference in, like, the blue but it does make a difference in the pink and the yellow. So as you can see, they're kind of chasing each other around. I try and keep an eye on that because I don't want them to end up losing their tails to other fish, which has happened before um, in past fish. So hopefully they'll stop that. And Aurora will go up and break it up. She does that often. I know that the Mollies are both female. Sorry. Mostly because um, there's a different pale, or pale tattern. <laughs> Uh, tail pattern. You can see in the mollies that I have, you can see my window, <laughs> um, the fin on the bottom is kind of more fanned out versus a male's will be separate from the body and it will kind of go down like this, whereas the females are connected to the body. So, once again, I hope that helps. But as I said earlier, I cannot determine the gender of the Danios, mostly because they're so small and it's very hard to detect differences.
when they're colored like that. So, all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, this is kind of a different video for me to post, uh, contrary to my normal gaming videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more real life vlog slash me face things, I don't know what to call them. Uh, just let me know. Alright, have a nice day. Bye.